Welcome back. Let's check in with Ayot Sunde Balogun for Sports News. Yes, indeed, Amarachi, President of the International Olympic Committee, Thomas Bach, is expected in Nigeria on November the 13th on a two-day visit to the Commission or to Commission the Association of National Olympic Committees of Africa headquarters in Abuja. Mr. Bach will pay a courtesy visit to President Muhammad Buhari as well as to the National Stadium accompanied by Olympians and national athletes. The visit will also see a discussion take place between the IOC visiting delegation, Nigeria's Olympians and IOC scholarship holders. Super Eagles head coach Gennett Rohr has named his squad for next month's 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying games against Benin Republic and Lesotho. The German tactician recalled Ahmed Musa, Samuel Kalu, Daniel Akwe and Kenneth Omero, who missed the October the 13th international friendly against five-time world champions Brazil in Singapore. Mikel Aigo returns to the team after almost two years in exile, while Ogene Karatebo is on standby as a result of his injury and has been monitored. The Super Eagles opened their campaign against Benin Republic at the Godzilla Lapabio Stadium in New York. That's on Wednesday, November the 13th, before visiting Maseru to play Lesotho on Sunday, November the 17th. Liverpool FC has beaten Arsenal FC 5-4 in a dramatic penalty shootout to decide a 10-goal thriller at Anfield in the fourth round of the English Football League Cup, otherwise known as the Carabao Cup. A 20-year-old Kamehane Kelleher saved Danny Sabah's penalty in the bottom right corner to seal a precious 5-4 shootout win. Divock Origi's 94th minute scissor kick sent the game to penalties after the Reds had twice come from behind to draw level in normal time. But there were five goals in each half, including a penalty and an own goal. Ghana coach Kwesi Appiah has called up seven new faces to his squad for November's African Nations Cup qualifiers. The Black Stars host South Africa on November the 14th and then travel to play Sao Tome and Principe four days later. As the squad was announced, the new executive of the Ghana Football Association launched a hashtag Bring Back the Love campaign. The GFA says it is aimed at igniting passion and galvanizing support for the Black Stars as they seek to redeem themselves after their disappointing 2019 AFCON campaign in Egypt. A Dick Advocat has agreed to take over at Feyenoord for the rest of the season after the departure of Yapstam, who lasted just 120 days in the job. It continues the recent trend by the veteran coach for stepping in to help teams in trouble. The 72-year-old has had three stints as Dutch national team coach, the last one for six months in 2017 before Ronald Koeman took over. He also worked at Feyenoord in 2016 as an advisor to then coach Giovanni van Bronckhorst, who is expected to be in charge for the first time on Sunday at Triple V Venlo. Feyenoord had made a poor start to the season on the stamp, winning 3 of 11 games and sitting 12th in the Dutch league standings. And that's news. And that's uh, Sports News. I'm Ayot and Dave Pollard. It's back to you, Amarach. Thanks, Ayot. And the main news again. The Supreme Court today dismissed the petition filed by former Vice President Atikul Murakar challenging President Mohamed Buhari's victory at the February polls. The court ruled that the petition lacked merit, but the flag bearer said he fought a good fight, while President Mahmoud Buhari believed his victory is an affirmation of the people's choice. Also, South Africa police today arrested over 100 refugees and asylum seekers from a United Nations building in Cape Town following deadly xenophobic attacks. That's News at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.